Hey guys, it's Caitlin and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to cut up your own diamond painting using a full coverage cross stitch pattern. For this example, I'm going to use Heaven and Earth Designs. But there are many other full cross stitch patterns out there, as you know, by Tilton Crafts, Pain Free Crafts, and Plenty on Etsy. The first thing you're going to want to do is select your pattern. I'm going to use the one that I'm currently working on, which is Dragon Kin by Ann Stokes. Once you've purchased your pattern, you can go ahead and get started on calculating the canvas size that you will need to work your pattern on. This is very simple because Heaven and Earth Designs puts the stitch count at the bottom of the page, which is what you're going to need in order to calculate the canvas size that you're going to want to order from AliExpress or Smith's Beads. This example, I'm going to be using AliExpress. So, once you have your stitch count pattern, what you're going to do is you're going to multiply this number by 0.25. And I have everything up here for you already. So, this is the width, 550 times 0.25, which equates to the tile size or the diamond size on the canvas. I got 137.5, but you're going to run around up because the canvas can only be ordered in whole numbers. You repeat the calculation for the length or the height of the pattern, 706 by 0.25, 176.5, but again, round up. The canvas size you're going to want to order is 138 centimeters by 177 centimeters. Again, it's important to note that the canvas is ordered in centimeters, not inches. So once you have your calculation, you're going to go to AliExpress and log in. And it looks like I'm already logged in, but I'm going to show you how to do this in case you've never used the site before. So you can sign in and you can make a new account. Or you can sign in with using Google, Twitter, I think that is. I'm not really sure what VK is. Maybe it's not Twitter or Facebook. And I usually just sign in with Facebook. It will refresh. Once you're logged in, you're good to go. Um, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to message the seller for a quote on the canvas size and the amount of diamonds that you will need for your pattern. Again, how you get your diamonds, it's going to be the floss usage chart. Do not send the actual pattern to the seller because that's a copyright issue and the seller could unfortunately potentially convert the pattern into a kit of their own and sell it, which is illegal once again. But it is legal to send this part, which is the floss usage chart. So um, Michelle, thankfully, gives the amount of stitches that you're going to need per color. And this is what you're going to send to the seller. So essentially you're going to need 3,956 diamonds for color 152. How you do that, I'm going to use the seller that I've used in the past. You're going to message them. You can use any seller that you want that sells um, diamond painting kits. I'm not sure if they're all going to be able to sell blank canvas or if they do sell blank canvas or individual diamonds. Most of them do. Some are more expensive than others, but I found that this one is pretty reliable and my group on Facebook has been using this one a lot in addition to um, Smith Beads, which is a UK based company. So how you message the seller, because I've been getting a lot of questions on this. You hover over their name, the store name, and go down to contact now. Click on contact now, message box will come up. And then you're going to ask for a quote for the size canvas that you need, 138 by 77. And then you're going to attach the floss usage pages, which I think is at the very end of each of the heaven and earth design patterns. So this you can attach as a PDF. Um, just these last pages, as I said, pages four through six and ask for a quote for the diamonds as well. Send, they should get back to you within usually a day. Um, the time difference for myself, I'm in the United States and they're based in Asia. So usually it's within 24 hours they'll respond. Now you can negotiate with them. Some people don't like negotiating, some people do. Um, the first price they give you, I will say, is probably not their best price. I've negotiated and they've come down a lot. 
I've also spoken with several sellers on AliExpress to give group members who mention Heaven and Earth Designs Facebook page a discount on their order. And so far, the response has been pretty great. Everybody who has been mentioning the Facebook page has been receiving a good discount. Um, you can expect price-wise for a kit this size to be upwards of $100, um, probably between $80 and $100. Some people may get it for less. Some people may get it for more. It really just depends on what seller you go through and how low they're willing to come down. Now, Smith Beads, um, I think they're also giving the group members a discount, but I don't think they negotiate. I think their price is pretty final with the discount on top of it. So once you message the seller, the seller is most likely going to send you a link um, to go and add to your cart. So again, this is tricky because you're going to add it to your cart and buy the item, but not pay for it. And a note I will put here is AliExpress does not accept PayPal, but I've ordered many things from them over the past and I've had no issue if something doesn't arrive, I get a refund. If it's late, I get a refund, a partial refund. So uh, this site, some people don't really like to use it. Some people have no problem. I'm not somebody who has a problem, but I just want to put that out there that they don't use PayPal. So it's going to refresh. The link they're going to send you is going to be similar to this. This white canvas link. Um, they're probably going to ask you to click a size. So 40 by 50, 50 by 50. Clearly, this is not anywhere close to the size that I need, which is 138 by 77, which is why you're going to add it to your cart, buy it, but not pay for it. Because they're only going to give you this one link, but this price is also going to include your diamonds. So let's just say I pick 50 by 50. Add it to my cart. I'm going to view my shopping cart. Here it is. So I'm going to buy from the seller. So once you clicked on buy from seller, you're going to review and confirm your order. Everything looks good here. Here is credit card information, but like I said, you're not going to want to use that. So we're going to say use other payment methods. And then we're going to confirm and pay. So once you have bought the item but not paid for it, you're going to go back to the seller, message them again, and tell them that you bought it and you're ready for the price update. This time, they're going to go back in. They're going to change the price of the item to the correct price that they quoted you. Once they do that, they should send you another message, and then that's when you finally pay for the item. For this seller... I usually get packages within a week. Um, sometimes I've seen reports of packages taking longer. I think it depends on where you live. Again, I'm on the East Coast of the United States. So uh, shipping time probably does vary, but every time I bought from this person, I've gotten it within a week. A couple notes that I just want to leave you all with is when you do store your diamond painting, you're going to want to roll up the canvas with the beads on the outside. If you roll up your canvas with the beads on the inside, they may pop off and fall off um, or get all crunched up, which is something you don't want to have happen. So again, it seems weird, but roll it up with the beads on the outside if you want to store it or put it away for a while. There is no DMC diamond color for Krennic. So what a lot of people have been doing is they've been using B5200 as a replacement. You can also use white or 3865. It's up to you. Um, and then when you're finished a large section of the diamond painting, I recommend that you go over the canvas with a roller or a spoon and press down all the tiles just to make sure they're in there tight. Uh, some of them do pop up once in a while if you haven't pressed them down. So go over, I usually, every page I finish, I'll go over it with a spoon just to make sure everything's pressed down nice and tight. That's it for this video, guys. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment down below. Um, feel free to join the Heaven and Earth Designs Diamond Painting Facebook group. 
There's a lot of questions, tips, tricks, and whip pictures on this page. Here's a lovely finish one of our members has done. Beautiful. I think she just finished that last night. But that's all for this video, guys. Until next time, have a good day. Thanks for watching. Bye.